What's up? I'm Oliver Wouters and I'm the operator of the Cardano stake pool Ideal. And in this video, I'm going to answer the question, how to choose a stake pool. Now, at the time of shooting, there are almost 3000 active stake pools and it would be quite hard for us to look at each one of them and then figure out which one is best for us. So we are going to make use of a little tool called adapools.org, uh, which allows us to compare and monitor different stake pools. So open your browser and head over to adapools.org. The first thing that we are going to do is to make a rough selection between pools that fit our needs, at least on paper. And we are going to do so by scrolling down a little bit and then clicking on advanced filtering. Now I can imagine that most of these six filters are not that meaningful and in fact might be quite confusing. Let's hop over them one by one and I will make a recommendation for each one of them. The first one that we are going to take a look at is live stake. And the live stake is basically how much ADA is delegated to a staking pool right now. There are a couple of things that you need to know about live stake. The first one being that it doesn't matter that much if a pool is big or small in terms of stake. The end result in terms of staking rewards is almost always the same. The main difference is that smaller pools have more inconsistent uh, timings for rewards and the bigger pools have more consistent rewards but the end result is almost always the same. The second point is that each staking pool has a max saturation level of 64 million ADA. So we want to play it safe and set this filter to a max of 30 million ADA. The second filter that we are going to take a look at is max fixed cost. Now, when a stake pool makes rewards, this set fee is deducted from the total amount of rewards first, and it is intended for the pool operator to cover the operational cost of running a pool. Now, as the range of this filter indicates, the minimum required amount a stake pool operator has to ask is 330 ADA. So we will leave this filter as is. Beneath that, we have the minimum return of ADA. And as I said before, it doesn't matter much if a pool is big or small, most of them will normalize to a return of ADA of 4.5%. And to eliminate extremes, let's just stick with 1% on this filter. So let's head over to the minimal pledge. This is the amount of ADA a stake pool operator assigns to the pool. And it is intended to remain staked to the pool for as long as the pool is operational. On paper, the higher the pledge, the better. But in practice, not all pool operators are blessed with limitless resources. So, you know, I would love to have a pledge of 10 million ADA, but I could only afford 250k ADA. We will leave the filter as is, 10k is more than enough. Next up, the max margin. And this is the percentage of the pool's rewards taken by the operator after the fixed cost have been deducted from the total amount of rewards made, but before delegators have received their piece of the pie. Now, differences between a pool margin of 1% and 5% might sound huge, but in practice, they are insignificant. And I have made some uh, calculations to show that, and I will leave a link to them down below. For now, let's set it to 5%. The last one on our list is max leverage. And this tells us something about the ratio between the total stake of a pool and the pool's pledge. Um, but to be honest, it doesn't help us much and it isn't that meaningful, so we will skip it for now and head over to the check marks at the bottom of the filters. And there is one check mark that is worth considering, which is called Solo Ops. And it stands for Solo Stake Pool Operator. Checking this box helps the decentralization of Cardano. So I would recommend checking that box, but it isn't mandatory, it isn't necessary, uh, it is up to you. With all of our filters set to go, we can now hit the submit button. We have now arrived at the point where basically every option listed here is a reasonable option to stake ADA with. That is, if you care about nothing else but staking rewards. However, I know some of you like to support a pool that goes the extra mile. You know, pools that help a lot of people make content like this or are mission driven. Uh, there are a lot of pools out there who donate to charities or that make sure that everything they do runs on green energy. And to figure those things out, we'll have to take a closer look at some of these pools. Taking a closer look at one of these pools is quite simple. Just click on the name and I will just use mine, the ideal pool, as an example. And then their profile page will pop up. Here on Ideal's profile page, you will see a lot of interesting information about the pool itself. You can see uh, that we belong to the single pools operator group, 
but we have no intention on making more than one pool. You can see that we have made quite a number of blocks, that we have uh, a nice return of ADA in our lifetime, 4.7%, and that we have been around for quite a while. And if you want to know more about the pool's you know, message or uh, the extra mile or how it is mission driven, a lot of pools have their website linked on this page. And I would just recommend, you know, clicking on it and then uh, w watching everything that they do. For example, we have green energy and then that can, you know, inform your choice on what stake pool to go for. And that is basically it. Whichever pool feels best at this point in time is the right pool for you. Um, you don't have to feel bad about making a bad choice. Um, you can switch pools at all times without missing out on any rewards. So have fun staking. If this video tutorial was helpful, then please like the video and leave a comment down below. And if it left any questions unanswered, then feel free to contact me and I am happy to help.